Hi everyone. I wanted to start uploading some videos where I explain some things about the novel um, that I find interesting and that you would get if we were in a face-to-face -face class. So these will also be available as transcripts. So you have the choice of either reading them or watching the videos. In the novel we're reading, Behold the Dreamers, the author Mbolo Mbui uses a narrative device of doubling. This is when a writer compares and contrasts two characters or sets of characters against each other for effect. Some famous examples from literature and film are Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, Jane Eyre and Bertha Mason, Dracula and Von Helsing, and the movie Fight Club is a perfect example of doubled characters. Commonly, doubling uses a good character opposed to a bad character. Um, in this novel, Behold the Dreamers, however, the doubling exposes another enemy, the enemy of capitalism. In Behold the Dreamers, the doubled characters are Jende and Clark, Leomi and Mighty, and Cindy and Nene. In addition, we have doubled couples, Jende and Nene, and Clark and Cindy. Finally, we have two doubled families, the Jongas and the Edwards. An aspect of most novels is crisis. So if you look at the doubled characters and the doubled families, knowing that neither of the characters or the families are totally evil or totally good, then the theme must be something evil. And in this book, the evil theme, which you might have figured out already um, by watching the documentary um, Inside the Meltdown about the 2008 financial crisis, the theme is capitalism. And in this novel, capitalism is an evil, corrupting influence. One aspect of most novels is crisis. While there might be many, many conflicts, there is only one central crisis. This is the climax of the novel, the point when all the action comes together. Main characters in novels tend to be dynamic, that is, they change throughout the novel. Secondary minor characters can be static, that means they stay the same. We meet Jende and Nene, who are main characters, when they are happy and optimistic. Their life seems to be on the upswing. What do you think this means for their journey in this novel? Will they stay happy? Will things only get better for them? Or will they face conflicts that lead to a crisis? I think you know the answer based on what I just said. But even though you might like these characters and what happens to them might be disappointing, what do you think is a more interesting narrative? After viewing the Frontline documentary, Inside the Meltdown, um, you will understand more about the setting of this novel. It was set, sorry, I'm just trying to scroll down because I want to say as close as possible to the transcript so that those of you who are reading it get the same effect. Um, it goes into the setting. So the documentary describes, as you know because you watched it, um, the 2008 financial meltdown and Lehman Brothers, which of course is the bank that Clark works for, is the only bank the federal government did not bail out. It was the only one that was allowed to fail. So it is extremely significant that Mbolo Mbui chose to set her novel not only in 2008, but also at Lehman Brothers. Of course, when the government bails out large corporations, when the government bailed these banks out, they are using money to give to the banks. Who pays for that? Yes, the taxpayers. We pay for that. So um, in this novel, there are themes about others having to pay for the wrongs of um, people they don't know. So. The documentary details how experimental mortgage-based securities that were created by Wall Street traders caused the financial ruin of homeowners in Arizona and the governments of Iceland and Northern Ireland. Um, some of you mentioned in your discussion forums that Clark Edwards did not seem trustworthy. 
In fact, the first time we meet Clark, he is shredding papers. Well, shredding papers is not always a deceitful thing to do. Um, when we are reading a work of fiction, we have to remember that somebody created this world. It is a realistic world, but it is not a world that actually exists. It is entirely created by the author. Mbolo Mbui has complete control over the world of Behold the Dreamers. Therefore, it is extremely significant that when she introduces us to a major character, he is shredding documents. So that's all I have for today. Happy reading. Feel free to drop into my office hours or to make an appointment to come in via Zoom or come by in person. And I'm happy to discuss the novel or any questions you have about um, the online course going forward. Take care.